Reviewing your cakes. Hi everyone, my name is Snoop Dogg. Welcome to Koala Pops. Let's get started. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and let me know in the comments what cake you'd like to see me make next. And if you want me to review your cakes, hashtag Koala Pops on Instagram. Yes, nobody knows my actual name. They all just call me Koala Pops. Yeah, my actual name is Jennifer Lawrence, if you guys were wondering. Like, on my birth certificate, legit, it says Robert Downey Jr. So I know that a lot of you recreate the cake tutorials that I have on my YouTube channel. And my friend Ricky said, you should review your followers' cakes because you inspired them to create something for a loved one or for themselves, and that is a beautiful thing. So that's what we are doing today. Let's start. So the first cake I'm going to be reviewing today is by The Silva Whisk. We're reviewing the Corona Snorlax cake. <laughs> Not coronavirus, Corona the beer. Okay, I'm liking this a lot. Oh, I like that you took, oh my gosh, you even took the time to create the grass. I like that. My favorite thing about this cake is definitely that you took my idea and then you upgraded it with your own sort of Snorlax expression. The spiral eyes and the like extremely wide open mouth is beautiful and the corona bottle tucked under his arm that's what takes something from one to a hundred and then back down to one when you fall asleep you can't remember what happened i like this a lot great job five out of five. Oh, okay next i wanted to review three different types of my hedgehog cake so i think it's prius Price DIY Adventures. Okay, I think this was sent to me during Christmas, obviously, because there's a Christmas hat. So the person you made this for turned one on Christmas? That's like a blessing and a curse. That seems so special, but also you have to make sure that you get them a Christmas and a birthday present. Because you can't have one gift for both holidays. That sucks. <laughs> I would hate that. This is my son's first birthday cake. Worked on it the whole day. I love the colors that you use. I love the powdered sugar that you use to create snow. And I think that's like tiny fondant grass. So that meant you rolled out all of the little tiny fondants. That's a lot of work. The only thing I would say is I think that the limbs and the feet and the nose is a little too dark. But I love all the extra detail you added to it. Oh, so the next hedgehog is by Hobsta Cakes. Hobsta, I can't pronounce anything properly. I say Hello Kitty, and I also say Capri Sun, even though it's Capri Sun. I don't know why. <laughs> His hedgehog cake is really nice. So I like that you took it and you turned this hedgehog into like an autumn cake. Yeah, you mixed like the colors really well. You got some gold. You have a little bit of bronze and black. The color choice is phenomenal. And you just created all the features really nicely. 10 out of 10. And for the other one, two thumbs up. I don't really have a rating system yet, so we're just gonna go with whatever I want. Ooh. And then the last hedgehog cake is by Custom Cakes by Rochelle. I love it. <laughs> it looks so cool. The thing that I like about this the most, oh, you got a full rainbow. I love all of the colors you use to create the hedgehog spikes and that rainbow, man. Why didn't I think of that? I love that idea. He's holding all the colors in his hands. I love it. Happy birthday, Michelle. This was probably very special. Creating these hedgehog cakes, how much did you charge? I've never created a cake that somebody bought. <laughs> so I'm always curious how much you would charge for this cake. Great job. I give you a gold star. So the next cake we're viewing is by Baker Chicks. And they made my mermaid cake. I like your color scheme better than mine. I think mine looks so weird. Why did I go with yellow? Nobody wants to see a yellow finned mermaid. Crazy. I love the purple and the blue. I'm loving the highlight of gold. And you can really tell that you took the time to create all the texture for the fins and for the scales. It's just beautiful. I should have chosen that color scheme. Why didn't I do that? Oh, cause I'm an idiot. That's why. I give you two thumbs up. So the last cake that we're gonna do, the little bit of bit of we're doing. The last cake we're gonna be reviewing is by Nessa's Cake Co. She created not one, but two Venom cakes. They're kind of spectacular. So first off, the texture on your Venom cake is phenomenal. I think it's better than mine, actually. 
You should have my job. <laughs> I mean, you got the texture of Venom and how slimy and slick he looks. The shading you created on the eyes and the yellowness of his teeth are very graphic, almost like the comic book. And your tongue looks better than mine. <laughs> Who do you think you are? You're doing a good job. What's your name? Jennifer Lawrence, Robin Downey Jr. You running Koali Pops? Cause you should with that tongue. Extremely amazed at how well these came out. Congratulations. I give you an Oscar. Congratulations. Best cake Oscar. It's a thing. It is a thing. All right, stop. Don't. Don't. It's a thing. Look it up. Google it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have a lot of fun looking at your cakes. And a lot of you have been sharing them with me, but you at me instead of hashtagging, and I'm not really that good at Instagram, so I don't know how to find those cakes again. Thank you, thank you for finding value in my work. It really makes me so happy. Now, if you want me to review your cakes, whether it's one of my creations or something you dreamt up, let me know, hashtag QualiPops on Instagram, and I'll do my best to include you in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this, I love you, I'll see you very soon. Peace.